for the Slango Form 4 and Exam Final Paper 3, uh, there are two sets. The first set will be the Solid Tyrant's Office Solution. You will be on by another video because I need to separate these two videos so they're easier for you to refer. So you not, do not confuse with the two experiments. So the second experiment is SC plus metal. So SC plus metal, how it works now, uh, they will give you a, a magnesium ribbon. Okay, they'll give you hydrochloric acid. Okay, so confirm is magnesium ribbon. Then after that, the what we call the hydrochloric acid will depends on which acid they have. If they use hydrochloric acid, they can use sulfur acid. So it depends. Then you go to uh, put the magnesium ribbon inside, then to wait the time taken for the magnesium to disappear. Okay, this is a key part experiment that they designed this experiment using the sodium tartrate. So sodium tartrate, you, you refer to uh, how long it takes for the X to disappear. For this, well, how long it takes for the magnesium to disappear because the magnesium completely dissolves into the hydrochloric acid. So for the concentration, the first factor, very high chance coming out um, concentration. So there'll be two methods they'll um, ask you to adjust the concentration. So the first method is they'll ask you to prepare the solution first before you start the experiment. So uh, I'll give you two versions now. So the first version will be this, that... Um, you have the hydrochloric acid, one more body and cube, then 45 cm cube. Okay, so means original, you will have the 45 cm cube of the acid, uh, of the acid. Then you put in 5 cm cube distilled water. Okay, 5 cm cube distilled water. So in this case, um, uh, you need to calculate out the, the concentration. So how to calculate concentration is very simple. M1 V1 is equals to M2 V2. So M1 is one more per dn cube. Volume is 45. The M2 unknown. Then um the, the final volume will be uh 45 plus 5. So it become 50. Then using this method, you're able to calculate your M2 is equals to 0 0.9. Okay. The second one, they put 35 of um, the acid, but now get more uh, distilled water. So it will be um, the acid now only 35 plus the equals to M2. Then the final volume is 50. You'll get M2 equals to 0 0.7. The, the reason why they keep maintaining, you can see all these numbers add up together is 50. The reason is because um, in order to make sure the height of the solution must be constant because if this one got this much of water, this one got more water, it will be harder to observe the, the color, uh, the X disappear because more water block the view. So in order to be fair, both solution must be same volume so they can observe from the same height of the solution. Okay, So this is the first type of the question that they they given you ask you to prepare solution first. Then only you move on to the second part that you start to put the three magnesium, clean it, then put the magnesium ribbon into the set one and start the stopwatch. Then start the stopwatch one reaction complete. Then record the time taken. Then after that, you remember set one, set two, set three. Then what we have is we have the concentration you need to record down 0 0.9 like this. Okay, the time taken now, it will fully depends on your apparatus. So if your apparatus is the analog stopwatch. So for analog stopwatch, right, is example, this is 45, 60, this one 50, this one 55. You remember for analog stopwatch is one decimal, 50.0. Remember to write this, huh? this one is very important. You deducted a lot of marks if you forgot the point zero, okay, here point zero. Then here is 41.0. If you are given uh, stopwatch with digital version, then you use two decimal because we already show you is two decimal, 3.76 at least. Okay. So it depends on what you get because certain school will get digital, certain school will get analog. So remember to write, if you don't forgot to write the decimal, here you get zero mark. It will be minus one mark. Minus one mark. Okay. Then you take the reading one over time. So this is time mark. One over time. So one over 40. Then you record down the reading 0 0.025. To find zero, I think three, three, three significant, three significant. Then you need to block the graph. So this is the sample graph I block to you. Okay, so the the graph. Okay, so first must have title. Then this one must be all, all same correct unit. Okay, then uh the skill must be for more than fifty percent of the graph lah. You must cover more than fifty percent of the graph. 
not too small, not too small. Okay. Then after that, uh, more than fifty percent, you get one mark. Okay. Then the next one is the the point that all this is distributed evenly. Then you get one mark for this. Then the last one is the the point given. Uh, the point given must be correct. You get one mark. Then after that, uh, the line, the straight line. Okay, the straight line. Okay, all this is the 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 marking scheme. Uh, sometimes the graph given only three marks. Okay. So you just draw accordingly. Then after that, after you finish drawing the graph, they'll ask you the relationship. So we know that one over time is real reaction. Because real reaction is divided by time. Uh, so this one, the higher the concentration, the higher the real reaction. So after plotting graph for four marks, right, they'll give you extra mark that ask you the relationship. So you can just explain now, the higher the, the concentration of hydrochloric acid, the higher the real reaction. Then they'll ask you to predict the value. So when you plot the graph, you need to check the value. So 0 0.6, we check here. 0 0.6 is here. You have to show in the graph, dot, 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 down, and show you get 0 0.0165. Uh, this one you get one mark for showing in the graph how do you get 0 0.1765 then you can write here long one over time is 0 0.0165 so time will equal to 63.2 in this you get one mark for here so you get two marks okay but this must be show in the graph must show in the graph then the observation you'll see the uh, colors gas bubble release who is the colors gas bubble is the hydrogen gas because if mg Red with hydrochloric acid, Mg with Cl become MgCl2 plus H2. So the gas is, is colorless gas release, colorless gas bubble release. Now for that, um, remember observation, inference. Inference is explain the observation. Who is the uh, colorless gas will be the hydrogen gas. Okay. So the manipulated variables will be concentration of hydrochloric acid, the time taken for X mark, uh, for the magnesium ribbon to dissolve completely into the hydro hydrochloric acid is the responding robots. So the, the, the fixed robots will be temperature and volume of hydrochloric acid. So the hypothesis, right, uh, is the higher the concentration of the hydrochloric acid, then the shorter the time taken for magnesium ribbon to completely dissolve into the hydrochloric acid. Okay, so for the operational definition, right, uh, for real reaction, you, this is what is the format. You need to write the observation. Then second sentence is simple procedure. So what is observation that tell you uh, how fast is it? Because they want operational definition for real reaction. Uh, they're asking, uh, how do you know it's fast in the reaction? So the observation tell you uh, that is fast is this time taken for the X mark to disappear. After for the magnesium ribbon to dissolve completely into hydrochloric acid because uh, if the real reaction is high, okay, how do you know the real reaction? If the real reaction is high, means the reaction fast, the time taken will be short. If the real reaction is low, which is the reaction very slow, the time taken will be long. That's why this is the observation tell you your real reaction, fast or slow, high or real reaction or low real reaction. Then simple procedure, you roughly explain to me how do you conduct the experiment when a magnesium ribbon is added into a beaker, okay, into a beaker which contains hydrochloric acid. Yeah, so this is how you write. Um, if they, they replace with hydrochloric acid, so you see, uh, in my hydrochloric acid, uh, they switch to sulfur acid. They ask you, will the reaction faster or slower? The answer will be faster. The reason is because uh, sulfur acid is a diprotic acid. Diprotic acid means that you're able to produce double H+. Plus. So double H+, plus, the higher concentration of hydrogen ion, then with the, the, the reaction will be higher. Then the height will always be the same as I told you just now to, so that you have the same height to observe the, the X. Huh? Okay, the second type of concentration experiment is this. Same, they'll ask, they'll give you the procedure. Fill out one, a beaker with 20 cmq, two more putting a sulfur acid. Then after that, so I change the acid to sulfur acid, not just in case we're not sure it's HCl or sulfur acid, but higher chance HCl. Nah. Then put the magnesium ribbon, start the stopwatch, stop the stopwatch, record the time taken, all this. But here, they don't, this type of experiment, they don't ask you to prepare solution first. They ask you to conduct experiment. Then once you complete the first experiment, you get the time taken, let's say you, you get the time taken is uh, 24.50. Now this one I show you is the digital. Digital one will, will be two decimal. Digital stopwatch. Okay. So then the second one, uh, you need to 
uh, dilute the solution. They ask you to dilute the solution. So how to dilute is that is, um, just now they use 20, ma. they have no distilled water. Now 16 and 4 means uh, in the in the bigel, you have 16 of the acid. Then you add 4 CMQ of water. So in this case, you have to calculate on M1V1 equals to M2V2. So my original solution uh, concentration is 2. Volume is 16. Then after that, I add water in. So water in is 16 plus 4 is 20. Then you get your M2 equals to 1.6. Okay, here will be 1.6. Then next one, 12 and 8. So the second round will be 12 and 8. So 12 of the uh, acid, 8 of distilled water. So in this case, your M1V1 equals to M2V2. So uh, what uh, acid still 2, original acid. Now volume of acid is 12. Then M2, then your, your total volume is 20 also. Then you'll get M2 equals to 1.2. So you just do it continuously. You'll get all the value. You need to calculate this is your point. Then you record down the time taken. Let's say this digital, you get all the two decimal. You get the two decimal. Then one observation given, you will see the magnesium dissolve completely, or you can see colors gas bubble release. So the 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 hypothesis here will be the the higher the concentration of sulfur acid, the time taken will be shorter. Here I go write uh, uh two cm of the magnesium ribbon. It depends on the question. If they didn't mention two cm, just 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 ignore the two cm. Okay. Yeah, after that, uh, plot the graph. So this is the graph given in the marking scheme. Okay, give a graph in the marking scheme. You can see what, what is the requirement. First, both assays must label correctly and the uh, and 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 you got unit. Okay, so both assays, you get one mark. First mark. Okay. Second marks will be uh, the consistent skill means all the skill must be followed up 20, 40, 60 a days. Then after that, um uh more than 50%. So you can see it's more than 50%. Means the graph is big enough to cover 50% of the graph paper. Remember, not too small, not too small, you lost one mark. Then after that, all the points are transferred correctly. All these points you will check one by one to make sure your point is correct. And then smooth curve, your curve should be the one. So for this graph, uh, they're not asking one over time, they're asking time. Okay, all the time. Okay, but higher chance coming out one over time now. But I show you the second graph. If given you time, then the graph will look at this. Then they'll ask you um uh, determine the time taken for magnesium to dissolve and for one more. So you check here you now. One more is around here. You dot, 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 dot here, dot, 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 dot here down. You you check your reading about 46.00. I follow point zero zero because my digital watch. Then what is the operation definition? Uh, how do you know real reaction here? Same with just now. Time taken for X mark to uh, magnesium to dissolve completely into hydrochloric sulfur acid. This one is hydrochloric acid. Then simple procedure is when 2 cm, 2 cm of the magnesium ribbon is added to a beaker that contains uh, sulfur acid. Okay, so you remember if they're given sulfur acid, write sulfur acid. Given hydrochloric acid, write hydrochloric acid. Okay, the second one, uh, the second possible factor will be the temperature. So for temperature, uh, everything is in. You direct the procedure. So what is the procedure you need to write? So clean the magnesium ribbon with sandpaper, measure 50 cm cube of the uh, hydrochloric acid using measuring center point to a beaker. Heat the hydrochloric acid until 30 Celsius, then place on the white towels. You place on white towels for easier for you to observe the magnesium dissolve off completely and it disappear. They insert a magnesium ribbon into hydrochloric acid and start the stopwatch. So stop the stopwatch once the magnesium ribbon dissolves completely into hydrochloric acid. So record down the time taken for the magnesium ribbon to dissolve completely. So repeat again with 40 and 50. So let's say we we we, we adjusted the, the remember what one decimal 30.0 40.0 time taken for magnesium to dissolve completely into hydrochloric acid will be this. 0, they say it's analog. Then remember to calculate one over time. One over time. After that, uh, state the relationship. Okay, state the relationship. Uh, do you ask you to plot the graph? Let me check my graph here. Do you ask you to, you to sketch a graph? After you sketch a graph with E, um, write the relationship. You'll you, you get a graph that is one over time. Scan, then this is temperature. Then Celsius. So you get a straight line drop.
Then they ask you to predict the number there. So you you will need to find um the they was for 60 months. So you 60 Celsius, you dot 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 here, then you'll find the value here. Um from there you, you calculate out the number. Okay, observation. So the observation will be the uh, colors gas bubble release. Same with this one. And after that, um, the hydrogen gas is the, the gas release. So this time, the, the manipulator become temperature. Then um, your responding will become back uh, concentration. Concentration. So the hypothesis, uh, uh, the higher the temperature, then the shorter the time taken. Operation definition, same with the sound. Uh, the observation is time taken for magnesium ribbon to dissolve completely into hydrochloric acid. Then the simple procedure will be when a magnesium ribbon is added to the big gold. Then uh, if set one repeated with using the magnesium uh, powder, so magnesium powder should be faster <clears throat> because smaller size, more uh, total surface area is higher. Okay, <clears throat> for copper, right? Uh, because copper does not react with the acid, <clears throat> Based on relativity series, Galau, Na, Yawin, Musti, Ado, Zing, Flexible, Supaya, Pumpuan, Hasil, Chuko, Anat. So this one, um, for hydrogen ion is here. So these two are, they are less electropositive than the, less reactive and less electropositive than the acid because H plus is acid, man. So they, they won't react with acid. So copper does not dissolve into hydrochloric acid because they don't react with acid. They are less electropositive than acid. Then write the chemical equation, magnesium, and then plus HCl. So for this, right, Mg, then H plus Cl minus 2 plus Cl minus. So Mg got changed. Then uh, H plus also changed to hydrogen gas. Then the last one, Cl minus Cl minus remain the same. That's why we can cancel it. 